Remember the Tank 3 I reviewed not long ago? Well, brace yourself, 8849 just unleashed its Mini Me, the Tank Mini 1. This pocket sized powerhouse packs the brand's iconic ruggedness into a bite sized package. In this video I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the 8849 Tank Mini 1. It boasts a surprisingly capacious battery for marathon use, a tried and true processor for smooth sailing and cameras that punch above their weight for a Mini. Let's see if this pint sized wonder lives up to its big brother's legacy. But before we dive head first, let's crack open the box and see what's inside. The name stamped on the top feels like a secret agent file, fitting for this rugged mini. And there it is, nestled safely in the plastic, the Tank Mini 1. Let's see what essentials we have inside. There's a SIM tray pin, a quick start guide and warranty certificates, the 33 watt charger with PD support, its version varies by the country you're buying it in, and a USB Type-C to Type-C cable, and that's all we need to get started. So time to ditch the box and get our hands dirty with this pocket powerhouse. Ok, so we got this miniaturized tank. It's more refined than its big brother, the Tank 3 which I reviewed not long ago. It boasts sleek chrome accents and a brushed aluminium back emblazoned with a gleaming logo exuding an uncommon sophistication for a rugged phone. The octagonal glass camera housing and bright camping light hint at adventure, while the dedicated lanyard slot ensures this little guy is ready for adventure in style. The only caveat, the chrome and glass elements attract fingerprints, but that's a small price to pay for such elegance. And for those inevitable mishaps, the bottom and top are shielded by shock absorbing TPU bumpers. Thoughtful toughness, nice. Naturally, the Tank Mini 1 is water resistant, boasting IP68 and IP69K certification. However, despite its 23mm thickness, significantly thicker than my Pixel 8 with a case, the phone doesn't look like a brick. Anyway, it offers surprisingly comfortable grip. Up top, a laser rangefinder and infrared blaster, familiar features from the Tank 3. Down below, a USB-C port and 3.5mm jack rest under a protective rubber cap. The right side houses the power button with fingerprint sensor flanked by two customizable red buttons for your secret shortcuts. On the left, grippy volume rockers and a dual SIM tray with a fancy red seal. Don't let the 4.3 inch size fool you, this mini screen packs a punch, while the 1200 by 540 pixels resolution falls slightly short of HD, the IPS display delivers sharp visuals for everyday tasks thanks to its respectable 306 pixel per inch density. And fear not sunshine warriors, a peak brightness of 650 nits makes it an outdoor champion, and worrying about scratches is a thing of the past thanks to the tough panda glass shield. Navigating the display is your choice, physical buttons or intuitive gestures, and while the settings menu might not break new ground, think brightness, dark theme, auto-rotate, it does offer all the essentials. However, navigating those menus with the smaller on-screen buttons could be a bit of a squeeze, especially for tasks like entering lengthy Wi-Fi passwords or setting up accounts during initial setup. My thumbs definitely had a bit of a workout. The phone runs stock Android 13 with minimal customization, offering a familiar interface punctuated by subtle unihertz and 8849 touches. The home screen is customizable to your liking with widgets, wallpapers and icon layouts. During setup you have option to set up facial recognition which works remarkably quickly. Alternatively you can opt for a fingerprint reader, both of which offer enhanced security and convenience over traditional pin codes, especially for those of us with, shall we say, less nimble digits. So while it's mostly stock Android, the phone comes with a few pre-installed apps that enhance its functionality, and these include Unihertz extras like Zaza Remote app for infrared blaster, student mode, NFC card manager, and the laser rangefinder app. The iconic toolbox app, packed with practical tools like a barometer, a dust cleaner with vibration function, a bubble level, because why not? A siren and flashing emergency light app, perfect for dramatic exits, 
and a host of other handy tools like a compass, speedometer and underwater camera. Highlights include shortcut settings so you can assign functions to the two physical left frame buttons for quick access to your most used features virtual memory extension which expands the ram with up to an extra 12 gigabytes for enhanced multitasking capabilities once you set that up it requires a reboot in essence the tank mini one delivers a pure clean android experience but with carefully chosen bonus tools that elevate its versatility and make it even more compelling no gimmicks just genuine functionality and i like that need two sim cards for separate lines or perhaps you prefer one SIM and extra storage for your adventures. The choice is yours with the versatile dual 4G SIM slot that also accommodate a micro SD card expanding the storage by up to half extra terabytes. There's also Bluetooth 5.3 for seamless pairing, Wi-Fi 5 for smooth streaming and casting capabilities to share your content on the big screen. The Tank Mini 1 ensures you're connected to everything that matters. Also has a GPS, so losing your way is virtually impossible. And at last, the thing which is important to many people, the trusty 3.5mm headphone jack that lets you plug in your headphones. While not the top of the line chip, the MediaTek Helio G99, built on a 6 nanometers process, gets the job done efficiently. And with a smaller resolution display to handle, this phone delivers surprisingly smooth performance. Whether you're gaming or browsing the web, expect a lag-free experience. The Tank Mini 1 also packs a generous 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage, expandable with a microSD card. It handles everyday tasks and multitasking with ease, backed by both benchmarks and real-world use. In benchmarks, the Tank Mini 1 scores 732 in single-core and 2033 in multi-core tests, with an open CL score of 1299, while not reaching the performance high of flagships like the Galaxy S23, iPhone 15 Pro or Pixel 8, its Antutu score sits comfy above 400,000 points, impressive for such compact device. But enough numbers, let's dive into how it handles games, starting with one of the best racing games on mobile, Asphalt 9 Legends. Everything looks and feels fantastic, no lags, no significant FPS drops and the visuals shine on the smaller display, even with a maximum FPS of 60. To put it to a real test, let's tackle Call of Duty Mobile. While the game looks great, aiming can be a challenge on a smaller screen, especially at maximum graphics quality. Switching to medium settings makes a significant difference, resulting in smooth gameplay and performance. While not its main focus, the Tank Mini 1 packs a surprisingly capable camera setup. Here's the rundown. The main camera, 100 megapixels, though you'll usually shoot at 25 megapixels for smoother pictures. This photo with 100 megapixels resolution. The result? Solid sharpness, but not mind-blowing. Time for a family face-off. Check out the same scene captured by the Mini 1 at the left and the Tank 3 at the right. Can the Mini 1 challenge the iPhone 15 Pro? Let me know in the comment section. Let's check out the digital zoom on the Mini 1. It enlarges the image by stretching pixels, leading to quality loss at higher zoom levels. Beyond a basic zoom, things get blurry fast. So keep it light on the zoom, unless you're a Picasso Digitale looking for inspiration. Let's throw the Mini 1 into the ring against the iPhone 15 Pro's video prowess. Not exactly a fair fight considering the iPhone's top-notch optical image stabilization versus the Mini 1's electronic alternative, but gotta compare against the best, right? And remember, low light conditions were thrown into the mix, making things even trickier for both cameras. Keep in mind, the Mini 1 is built for toughness, not photo shoots and a selfie cam 32 megapixel sensor for detailed close-ups, defaulting to 8 megapixels for everyday snaps. It's a full HD video for your TikTok dreams. Drop your opinions in the comments. 
The phone packs a hefty 5,800 mAh battery and 33 watts fast charging, keeping you juiced for adventure. The full charge takes just under 70 minutes. Impressive endurance, browsing about 19 hours, gaming around 11 hours, videos 22 and a half hours, seriously. So you don't have to worry about battery anxiety with the Tank Mini 1. So, small phone, big surprise. Tough, built to survive the apocalypse, fast charging, long lasting battery, and even my picky 8 years old loves it. Processors decent, screens nice, cameras not a game changer, but its size and price, pretty neat. Unique phone, happy kid, I can dig it. By the way, this phone came from 8849 for review, but rest assured, even with a freebie, my opinions come with zero filters. The review is all me, all real, all the good, the bad and the in-between. If you want to check this one out, it rings out around $400 US on AliExpress, but they are throwing down a limited time launch discount, scoop it for just under $200 US until end of January. So don't sleep on this deal, scan this QR code, grab the link in the description and go nuts. Thanks for watching, catch you guys on the next one.